back to another CAD clip. In this lesson, we're going to show you a quick tip that I picked up at Revit City where we can uh, do a little bit of trickery. In Revit, um, in the family editor, um, we cannot turn on and off the visibility of a void. So in here you can see we have a hole in there and that's done with a void and this is exactly the same family it's just copied over and it appears that I'm turning the void off and all I've really done is made it so that the void is sitting outside of the solid geometry and therefore creating the effect that I've turned off the void okay and all I've done is if you click on here and you go to the properties of this family you'll notice I have a property in here called void location and it's set to be two feet way out here if I set this to be one foot you'll notice it'll start to come back in and bite away at that solid piece of geometry so we're just going to show you how I did that we'll start by creating a new family in here we'll say new family and we'll use the generic model um, template down inside of here and open that up and we'll start by using my 4B approach, brains, bones, balance, and body. And in doing so, we'll create some reference planes and some dimensions and parameters before we start to model in our solid geometry and our voids. So let's start off by creating some reference planes. One, two, three, four, and then one guy over here, which will be the location line of that piece of void. Okay, now add some dimensions go over to my details tab align dimension one two three doesn't matter which order you pick them in and equal one two three over equal and then this guy to this guy that's going to be my solid width this guy to this guy that's going to be my solid height this guy to this guy will be my void location line escape escape now I can click on these one at a time and go in and add my parameters through here but I'm going to do them all inside my types dialog box so I'm gonna click on here and I'm gonna create some parameters they're all going to be um, located or grouped under dimensions and they're all going to be instance and length so let's start them off new parameter add a parameter we're going to call this solid width and all of them are going to be grouped under dimensions instance and length okay add another one solid height uh, same thing dimensions instance that way we get our grips and length okay now we're gonna add another one in called extrusion depth and spelling is critical extrusion depth and again dimensions instance and length okay then we're going to create another one called void location this is probably the most important one because that's what's going to move this in and out uh, dimensions instance and length okay one more add void radius this is just adding a little extra on there a little bit of overkill but what the heck we don't have to do this one but I'm gonna add it in anyway hit OK hit OK okay now I'm gonna take this guy and turn it into the parameter solid width okay click out click this guy turn it into solid height click out take this guy turn it into the parameter void location click out now I'm gonna go back into my types dialog box and I need to add values to these guys right here these zeros void radius I'm gonna say six inches oops bump me over uh, extrusion depth I'm gonna say two feet so while I'm in here I might as well flex it let's change this to be void location is three feet solid width is two feet solid height is two feet nice round numbers hit apply looks like it's flexing properly hit OK now we've done our brains bones and balance let's add in our body which is the solid geometry and void geometry create solid extrusion and I'm going to use the rectangle tool snap to that corner important snap to there and then lock lock if you forget to lock it just use your line tool later to relock it while I'm in here I'm going to set the end uh, extrusion to be the parameter extrusion depth okay hit OK finish the extrusion 
done. Now I could go back in here, types, and go in and flex this again. I'll let you do that. I'm trying to keep, keep the clock under 10 minutes inside of here. So I'll let you go in and do that. So I'll just say, go in, flex it a little bit. Now we can do our void geometry. So I say, okay, void extrusion. I'm going to use the circle tool to make it like a cylinder. It's very important that I snap right to that intersection and go out and click. Okay, now I'm going to just click on this temporary uh, tool to turn that into a permanent dimension. Hit escape, escape. If, if you forget to do that, just go back here to detail and create a new radius dimension inside of there. Once we have that radius dimension, we can click on here and make it the parameter void radius. And we're going to set the um, extrusion part of this void to be extrusion start is zero extrusion end is the parameter um, extrusion depth and that's why it was important we gave that a value back in the dialog box for the types okay hit OK hit OK finish it click out now in order for this to actually cut away at this regardless of whether it's within the the space of this or not we have to tell it to so we have to go here to modify and use our cut geometry you see there it's an exact example cut from this this guy escape escape okay now let's try flexing it you can't just move it you have to do it with the parameter so let's go into our types and let's grab that void location and let's set it to be one foot hit apply and look it's cutting away at there let's set it to be zero hit apply done hit OK close it off now let's load it in our project and let's balance or flex it in our project we'll load it into project one so we're back in our project one and we can click on there and place it now what we can do is we because we made them instance parameters we can move these guys oops I got the wrong one there we can take this pull this off so it's non-centered and all I want to do is nudge that over a little bit oops getting the wrong one here let's do it this way let's go into our properties and let's change that void location okay to be you know three feet now it's over here that's what I wanted so this guy is over here you can't see it okay this guy controls this okay that's the center of the whole family okay and this is that void so watch what happens when I get close enough okay it's gonna start to bite away at that so now I can do this in a 2D or a 3D view, it doesn't matter. And click on this guy and now I can flex it in the project. I've got my solid um, geometry. Did I not hit my properties? Click on there. And void location, let's make it one foot. Uh, solid width is two feet, solid height is two feet and the void radius is six inches and it looks like I made the extrusion depth a type parameter let's go into here yeah there it is there so I can change this to be you know 18 inches I could go back and change that in the family itself and then watch what happens so there's my void location of one foot the radius is six inches hit OK and now I can control that I want to go back and recenter it all I have to do is set that to be uh, void location is zero and okay so effectively you can create the effect that the void is being turned off um, by simply taking that uh, void object and moving it outside of the space of the solid geometry just like that